The Flash movie is undoubtedly a highly anticipated film in the realm of superhero storytelling as it promises to close an era of DC storytelling on the big screen. While James Gunn and David Zaslav have claimed it to be the most incredible superhero film ever made, it's important to approach such statements with a critical eye. However, The Flash still impresses with its solid execution and compelling narrative thanks to Christina Hodson's script. One of the film's strengths lies in its exploration of the consequences of altering the timeline. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. I completely broke the universe. The Flash's actions and the resulting repercussions create an engaging storyline that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. The introduction of General Zod as a formidable antagonist adds intensity and raises the stakes for our heroes, further enhancing the plot. <gasps> Director Andy Muschietti, renowned for his admiration of superheroes, infuses his passion into the project, resulting in a captivating film that resonates deeply within the DC universe. Through his direction, Muschietti masterfully crafts emotional moments that leave a lasting impact. Furthermore, the movie boasts extraordinary action sequences specifically in its opening scenes, which flawlessly highlight The Flash's exceptional abilities as a superhero. Muschietti's artistic vision brings a profound sense of complexity to the film, ensuring a well-rounded and immersive viewing experience. Undoubtedly, this exceptional work is a compelling testament to Muschietti's suitability to helm the DCU Batman film The Brave and the Bold. Despite the off-screen troubles surrounding Ezra Miller, they deliver a fantastic dual performance as both an older and younger Barry Allen. One of the standout performances is of course Michael Keaton reprising his iconic role as Batman. He becomes the anchor of the team Barry assembles and brings a sense of familiarity to the film. Let's get nuts. Ben Affleck also appears as Batman, delivering one of his best performances as the Cape Crusader. However, Sasha Kale's portrayal of Supergirl falls slightly short compared to the other caped heroes in the film. While she does do a great job, she doesn't entirely operate on the same level as her co-stars. The film includes a substantial amount of fan service and surprises referencing other DC properties in the multiverse. While these nods add to the overall experience, they don't overshadow the main narrative, which is a a welcome change. In many ways, The Flash is a suitable finale for this era of DC storytelling. Rather than primarily setting up future films, it offers a refreshing standalone experience. The Flash does fall victim to the common complaint of excessive use of flashy special effects, particularly in showcasing the Speed Force. At times, this becomes repetitive and detracts from the overall experience, however, the film remains a solid superhero offering that doesn't leave viewers feeling shortchanged like other recent releases. He didn't make it. While The Flash may not rank among the greatest superhero films ever made, it remains a remarkable achievement and an excellent culmination of this era of DC storytelling on the big screen. It's safe to say that The Flash is a superhero movie that you should dash to see in the theaters. The Flash movie is being released in cinemas worldwide on June 16th. What do you make of this review? Are you going to be watching The Flash movie at the cinema? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time!